It is 524. Holodazzle continues this weekend in Minneapolis. It's open Thursdays through Sundays through December 23rd in Loring Park. Kate Raditz is there live this morning. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Kim. Yes, one of the really cool things about the Holodazzle this year is the big emphasis on local vendors. There are so many local gifts that you can find. We're actually inside a nice warm tent this morning, which is nice, at uh, Keita Wolfart. Did I say it correctly? I did. I'm glad. It's the only, uh, their only brick and mortars in Stillwater. I'm here with Nick Jones. Thanks so much for being here. So what can people find here at your store? We have a plethora of things. Actually, they're all German. Uh, we have Schwebogen back in the back. We have some 185s, which actually are wood ornaments, uh, actually behind you, which I believe you saw a little bit earlier are the nutcrackers and then around the corner here we actually have a whole bunch of international glass uh, then we also have our series glass which is manufactured in germany so a little bit of everything for everyone uh, and your your only location though is in Stillwater. that's pretty cool so what is what do you think of the big emphasis on local gifts because there are so many here yeah i think that's actually a really nice thing that they did you know spend local get money into the local hands compared to what you would normally have with a traditional market like this so it is a, a nice thing that they've done that, that all the businesses are local i was actually here on Sunday with my family. I was just showing it's just all these beautiful ornaments. Robin, we were kind of showing some of these earlier. I actually got a couple of those. But you were saying the Nutcrackers you sell, it's actually a special year for these as well. Yeah, it's actually the 200th anniversary of the publication of the Nutcracker this year. So we have uh, quite a few of them to choose from, which is actually kind of a unique thing that we have to offer is that, you know, a lot of handmade Nutcrackers compared to the, some of the other things that you can find. And what makes the Holodazzle so special? I know we know, but what? why do families keep coming back? You know, truthfully, I have to say it's probably the vendors and the atmosphere that they have here. It's just a really close-knit group of people that actually come back every year. It's a fun atmosphere. It's safe. There's there's just a lot of stuff to look at, and it's it's just a fun atmosphere, honestly. And Robin, I don't know if you were showing you guys. I actually bought a couple of these when we were here on Sunday. They're just so beautiful. So if you are looking for some local gifts, it's really such a great place to come. They actually have double the amount of local vendors uh, this year, I learned, compared to last year. And, uh, of course, the Holodazzle runs uh, Thursdays through Sundays up until December 23rd. But there's a lot more to do than just shopping, of course. So we're going to talk about some of the local uh, food, of course, the food and the drinks. We love to hear about that. So we'll talk about that in our 6 o'clock hour coming up. I was there for the Holodazzle on the opening night and yes the food is delicious okay can't wait to check back with you on that thank you Christmas is a little over two weeks away and there are plenty of ways to get into the spirit Holodazzle at Loring Park is a great one they've got carriage rides food from local restaurants all sorts of vendors ice skating out there Kate Raddatz live in Loring Park this morning to show us some options I might come out this weekend Kate so show us what they got all right, Jason, yes, of course, I know you want to know about the food, and I'm here at a K-Town Street Food. I'm here with uh, Lisa Bowie. Thanks so much for being here with us. Can we talk about, she's not even wearing a coat, your elf outfit. That's pretty amazing. So tell me, what can people find here? Um, what we have here is Korean fusion food, which are most popular dishes, the um, kimchi fries. It looks pretty good. Tell, tell people what's on it. It's French fries, and you get either steak, chicken, or tofu kimchi, onion, sesame seed, and a garlic aioli sauce. So you can do it either mild, medium, or hot. It looks so good. You and I were saying it almost looks like a poutine, kind of. So where can people find you? Because you're local, too. Uh, we have a food truck, and we're in downtown St. Paul. Is it fun? Because you said this is your second year coming back. What do you like about being part of the Holodazzle? Uh, we love it here. It's like a holiday spirit, a whole bunch of family gathering. So it's something that we really enjoy doing. Thanks so much for being here with us this morning. I want to talk more about uh, the other things you can find at the halls at Holodazzle. I'm here uh, with Leah Wong. Thank you, Leah. So uh, tell me what other things, I mean, I know there's tons of activities here. Yeah, well, we're really excited about the programming we have this year. We have a kid zone. We have Santa that comes out. Tonight we'll be doing Elf for our movie. Saturdays we have fireworks. So lots of programming, lots for people to come out, do and see. And of course, our twinkle lights and some of our interactive art installations that are here as well. It is so beautiful, and I know I brought my nieces and my nephew on Sunday. They love the ice skating rink, and everything is, is free, right? Absolutely. Everything's free. We have complimentary skates at the ice skating rink that you can borrow and use. So lots to do for free. We really encourage people to come out, uh, bring a camera, take some photos. Great place to kind of gather with family and friends this holiday season. Now, if people want to check out the fireworks on Saturday, you said there's some transportation you guys help too out with? Absolutely. Saturdays, our fireworks are at 6.30 p.m. And then all day on Saturday, Metro Transit does free rides. So you can take Metro Transit to Holodazzle. Just go to holodazzle.com, download a free ride pass, and away you go. 
It really is beautiful, and it looks beautiful here. Thanks so much for being here with us this morning, you guys. Before we go, I want to try this because this looks so good. Take a look at that. Um, by the way, it's hot, too. So, <laughs> But seriously, they're outfits. They're not even in coats. <laughs> I know. You've got the whole hood and the whole deal on, and they're just wearing elf outfits. Why it's not? good. Yeah, that looks good. I love kimchi. Yeah. Very good. Thanks, Kate.